Welcome guys to the final two games of the season for the Hobart Hurricanes. We have had some positive results of recent times where we've won a few games, three games to be exact. We're not on bottom of the table. That is currently the uh, Perth uh, Scorchers. If we can pick up and maybe another win, we should finish ahead of them possibly. It would be quite nice. Uh, yeah, we'll look over the fixtures and yeah, we'll just showcase how we've gone. So you guys were here for the Sydney Thunder defeat, the Perth defeat, and the Sydney Sixers defeat. So we played the uh, Melbourne Renegades, 127 all out, all week of post. Pekoski, 43, Barnes, 28 below. Kingsley, 4 for 23, 3 for 28 for Moody. And they chased it fairly easy. 1 for 24 for Flynn. I thought he bowled well along with Anthony. Uh, the next game we played, I believe, was a win. Yeah, we did. We won this game against the uh, Melbourne Stars. So 175 for 5. Uh, uh, Saunders out of the blue getting 91. Colin, 45. And, yeah, that was just good enough. We bowled them out for 146. Uh, they had four overs to bat, too. And they were in a, all sorts of bother throughout that. innings. Franks, 5 for 34. Well bowled. Uh, next game we won against Perth, uh, 157 for 8, we restricted them to, I uh, thought Franks was good again, 3 for 21, uh, Barnes and Duckworth were at spins, but they got 2 wickets apiece, Flint was good up top, none for 16, and 159 for 4, and uh, Townsend 59, and 41 for Spence. Lost a couple games here in a row, we, um, 170 for 9 Adelaide, uh, Contributions through the middle water. 4 for 22 for Franks. He's been very good this season. Uh, 3 for 19 for Flint. And all we could muster in response was 137. And with uh, Ingram, 4 for 31 and 3 for 31 for Stock. So yeah, pretty close game between us and the Sydney um, Sixers. Uh, 99 for Ellery and Prescott. They all over our bowlers put up a brave fight I, I felt we should have won this game from the position we're in 156 for 5 we were and then um, we're all out for 176 Agar 6 for 38 just got key wickets too he got the wickets of Colin Pekoski and Townsend who were set and he picked up the wickets of Flint and Franks towards the end um, along with Barnes so we're on the winning side of things this time. We played the uh, Brisbane Heat. Uh, some positive score there. Good contributions from Saunders and Colin and uh, Townsend. Miran bowled well and uh, Rogers bowled well for them. And we got them out for 151 in the final delivery of the innings. They were in a very strong position at one point. 133 for three. And then it just crumbled for them. Barnes, Duckworth and Anthony really pegging things back when it looked really bad at one point. Look at this. one zero zero. One zero zero, they unbelievable collapse. And this the recent game, one hundred eighty nine for nine, uh, four for thirty six for Barnes. Definitely the pick of the bowlers. Fifty three for Heath, Stone thirty nine, and all we can muster in response. One hundred fifty five for seven with Wilkinson getting a fifty. He he's really struggled this season. Wilkinson only averaging 17, but it's his first season, you can't expect too much from him. So I think Saunders has been a lot better this season too, averaging 28 for the current um, season. So we're playing uh, the Melbourne Renegades, would love maybe one win in the episode today, just to wrap the uh, competition up. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's our team. Hopefully um, we get toss i will probably bat first on this wicket just need a top order really firing lovely shot from saunders matt matthew dangerous bowler actually scott matt matthew is potentially a really good cricketer in the making i'm quite happy i've got him for tasmania actually he's played eight test matches this season 27 wickets at 25.56 Lovely shot from Saunders. Free hit for him too, and he's clubbed that for six as well, giving it the treatment. We're off to a positive start. No, 
Oh, Spence has been dropped. He has to capitalise on this. He's gone for 15 off 15. He's had an okay season, Spence. He's probably just doing enough to probably keep a spot on the team so I can rebuild it. 40 off 39. Just Two openers. After getting us to a good start, have just got themselves out really quickly. And um, we're in a bit of a rebuild. Yeah, we want around 150. 150 will give us something to um, bowl to. Colin out for 10. Brings the man they got 50 last game. Wilkinson for the crease. Lovely shot for four. Just got to work it round a wee bit, guys. Like, we have lost probably too many wickets for the stage of the innings. Probably only wanted to be really three down. Just not too many, but... Run a ball 11 for Wilkinson and 20 off 11 for um, Townsend. It's allowing us to probably attack a little bit again. Up for 15 off 13. Ant Anthony to the wicket. Anthony's batting two places too high too. That's a real area of concern um, and an area we have to address. An all-rounder would be really cool to sign. Because the only thing that's really hard to do that, like with an air squad want to retain most of our players obviously and with the board having restrictions of um or silly things saying you got to sign a minimum amount of players like i can't really offer anything out in terms of a contract to like an all-rounder that we could really use our team i'm not i'm not going to play anything the board signs because they're not good enough just lost their way a little bit here. We are, we've got over 140. A couple of nice boundaries for Duckworth. 148 for 9. Uh, Townsend's 42 and Saunders is 40. Close to something anyway. Jafar bowled quite well. The um, Bangladesh um, bowler. He's a pretty reasonable uh, campaigner. Need a good start with the ball. Flint gets the wicket of Mills. Excellent. It's a key strike. French is gone, 21 off 12. Barnes took a bit of a pummeling there. 105 for 2. I'm just going to keep the field up here. We're, just, we're not well of this game, just with the blitz that they had. Middle section. So convincing win for the Melbourne uh, Renegades. 50 to Darks and Daly. And, yeah, just blowing out the water. So, Perth won their game. Uh, I'd love to win our final game of the season against the uh, Sydney Thunder. It will be a tough task away from home, but it is uh, doable. So another another one that's had a disappointing campaign is uh, Will Pukowski. 13 games, the captain only averaging 12.31. It's another weak area that I want um, improvement on. Fortunately, don't have Larry Beckett to um, call upon as well. He's been in good form for uh, Australia. But can we finish up with a flourish? Uh, we'll bowl first. Get the field out after six this time. Aaron's gone. Good. Get the wicket of Renshaw. Well bowled, Anthony. Two wickets. Three wickets for Anthony now. Get Flint out of the attack. Franks. Bowling out Anthony. Bit of a risk doing that, but we keep the man in. That was bowling pretty well. 69 for 4 after 9. I was going to put the field out after 6 hours, but keeping the field up uh, with um, potential to take a couple more wickets was the way to play there. It's key uh, 20 over, uh, 10 overs for us. Just going to sort of keep them in check. Uh, Flint. Couple of wickets for uh, Duckworth. I'll run out for Duckworth. Well, pretty well. One for 24. Like, everyone's bowled reasonably well so far. Want to keep them under 160 now. Be the goal. Green's gone for one. Barnes will get the wicket of Alice as well. So, it's a good spell from these two bowlers. Franks. 
pranks will be amongst the wickets. And Barnes. We'll get the wicket of Smith. 133 all out. Uh, Hanskin was the main star of that innings. But really happy with that effort. Can we finish on a high note? Get our fourth win of the season. Two more than what I was expecting. Lovely shots. Not happy with the early loss of the wicket either. Lost both openers very cheaply. Come on, Bukowski. Now it's your time to get a score. Keep your spot on the team for next season. I probably need his experience anyway. He's done, he's done a lot for the uh, Hobart Hurricanes over the seasons. A lot of runs. Boundaries flowing off the bat for Colin. Teeing off. This is good. This is good. What we want. We're headed the run rates. Lovely shot. Smashed it for six. 81 for two after 10. 53 needed off the last 10 overs. Just don't lose your way, guys. This is a position you shouldn't lose from. Colin tees off again. Another six. Back-to-back -back sixes. 50, 50 for Colin. He's just been solid again this season. And we've got a very much four and over from practically the last seven overs. This should be um, easily be gettable. If we get a couple of big overs, it's just no pressure on us at all. Out for 60 or 44 deliveries, but I would say that is a match winning knock along with Pekowski. But you never know with the Hobart side. Could lose regular wickets. Or we could somehow find a position where we need three off the last six <laughs> six deliveries and still find a way of losing the game. Get it home, guys. This is a, one of our better results. Well played. Good bowling, good batting. 50 for Pukowski as well. And we finish our season ahead of Perth. So that's one positive um, way to finish that campaign. So obviously um, need to improve in a few years here. But we'll talk about that in the review when we get to that stage. So you guys will join me actually when we play Queensland. Like, I'll play this game here. And if we're still in contention after having a result against Queensland, we'll play the um, New South Wales game as well. So I'll, jo I'll join you guys for that uh, particular game. Give us a comment, like, subscribe. Hopefully you're enjoying uh, the Australian domestic uh, rebuild uh, for Tasmanian Hobart still. Yeah, um, we'll see you again.